Hello, John Gabay here, and today we're going to learn a technique for controlling high voltage and or high current loads using low voltage control signals. Now, of course, as we learned in an earlier segment, you can always use electromechanical relays. Relays have some drawbacks, though. The contacts are mechanical in nature, and mechanical things can fail. High voltage and high current can cause the contacts to pit, and relays can't switch as fast as solid-state devices. Our circuit will use an opto-isolator. An opto-isolator has a low voltage section to the left where we bias an LED that's inside a hermetically sealed package. The light from the LED, typically infrared, hits an opto-sensitive base of a transistor. Now this could be an NPN, a PNP, it can be a FET, it can be a TRIAC. When energized, the optical transistor allows current to flow from the collector to the emitter. And that's going to connect to the high voltage going to the base of the higher voltage transistor. We are using an NPN transistor in this example as an emitter follower, which will supply voltage and current to the load. Notice that the ground on the low voltage side is a separate ground from the load side. Our circuit is very straightforward. Our opto isolator is energized by a 5 volt supply, which comes into here. And when we energize the LED of the opto isolator, going through a bias resistor to limit the current through the LED. We turn on the transistor on the other side. Energizing the opto isolator, LED lights a little LED here and lights the two 12 volt bulbs. You may ask why would we want to do this? If we were to put many 12 volts lights in parallel, that would require thicker, more expensive wires running a long distance. But by using high voltage, we can use thinner, lower cost wire and daisy chain them point to point in one loop, saving costs.